We've been asked a number of questions about the setup that we have at University of Richmond CTLT. And so I thought I'd go through the status of some of the things that we've learned and been doing. So this is our Solid Doodle 3 printer. And we currently have it set up with a plexiglass enclosure, although it's open up the front right now at, because we're printing with PLA plastic and we don't want the heat to build up inside the printer. And then there's a ducted fan that's cooling the plastic. So with PLA, we only use a ducted fan and no enclosure for warmth. And for ABS plastic, we use an enclosure and we don't use the ducted fan. Also, we use a glass plate setup, like a number of people I've been using. It allows us to very quickly switch back and forth between print jobs. We just use simple office binder clips to clip it on. We do a good job of leveling the plate maybe about once a week, and then we have absolutely no problems with our printing. In addition to the glass plate, some people have been using hairspray and some use polyamide tape. What we've been using lately, if you can see it, is Cubify.com's cube stick glue. It's a polyvinyl acetate or polyvinyl alcohol. Basically, it's water-soluble glue. Uh, it comes with a sponge applicator, and we just apply it to the surface of the glass plates, and it seems to do a really good job of uh, sticking the parts. And then, because it's water-soluble, when we're done printing, uh, the parts usually pop right off, but if they don't, we just dunk the glass plate once it's cooled into water, and then the parts uh, come right off. So the enclosure was posted on Soliform, S-O-L-I-F-O-R-U-M, by Koi Peltz. His username is Peltz, P-A-E-L-T-Z, March 5th of this year. And it really just has some really good instructions for getting the plexiglass from a big box store and getting them cut, uh, adding weather stripping, uh, printing out these simple clips. In the case of some of them, they have embedded uh, neodymium magnets that you, uh, he even shows you the source of where to get them, and some clips to hold on plexiglass. And so what it allows you to do is just take off the plexiglass sheets as you need to and put them back on. Some people have more sophisticated methods of using hinges, but that seems to work fine for us. The only modification I've done to this is to design and install, although haven't really tested yet, a fan which will filter the air inside the printer when we're printing with ABS. The enclosure's been doing a really good job of keeping the odor from ABS inside the printer, so we haven't really uh, felt the need to go ahead and use this. But basically, I took uh, one of the plexiglass sheets from Peltz's instructions and replaced it with a design I have with these embedded magnets, quarter-inch uh, cylinder magnets, that will magnetically hold on an 80-millimeter case fan. So you can remove this if, as you want. And then that, in turn, is connected uh, through magnets to a carbon filter section. And I can install about four sheets of activated carbon filter here. And so the idea is that it will uh, filter the carbon and exhaust it out the back of the printer. But again, I haven't really used it yet. Okay, for the ducted fan, we've been using Thingiverse Thing ID 39462 from user Rinsewind, which is based on Lossy's thing 30828. And basically it has two components, a ducted fan mount for a 40 millimeter fan and that gets glued onto another separate printed piece up here which you install a couple quarter inch uh, neodymium magnets that will hold the whole assembly onto the extruder assembly. The two wires that, are, that come off the 40 millimeter fan, I simply inserted into the umbilical and then ran along the umbilical to the back of the printer out the printer where I spliced them into white and black just because that's what I had lying around and I went straight into the 12 volt and ground leads uh, terminals for the power supply. Now in Lossy's instructions uh, he suggests 
he, he gives great instructions for installing into the actual I.O. pins and then using the software to control the fan. That gives you the ability to turn on the fan mid-print, what have you. Uh, but I didn't want to go through that trouble. And I'm going to just add a switch here in line with the uh, wires to be able to turn on the fan for printing with PLA and turning off the fan when printing with ABS. Other modifications that we've done recently. We added a wire bundle guide as per Thingiverse Thing ID 51134 from Rob Bruden Jr. Uh, the only thing I've done is modify it. This was from a Solid Doodle 2 design and I just increased this distance up and down because the distances are slightly increased for the Solid Doodle 3 printer. It does a great job of allowing the wire bundle to ride up into this space here rather than fraying on the y-axis belts that are below. Also, I took Tim Chandler's Thingiverse Thing ID 66055 for a webcam mount for a Logitech webcam. He had it set up like this where you can clip it to the frame, which I can't really do with an enclosure. And then the other end uh, is like a cherry picker for holding the webcam. And I modified that so I could install it onto the enclosure itself. So in my design, I have a plastic bar that has two three-quarter inch neodymium magnets installed inside, sandwiching with another piece of plastic. And then that is on a turnstile that I can attach my Logitech webcam on top of the printer. I found that this geometry gave me the best ability to view the printer uh, from above. The other thing that it turned out to do is the way this is actually attached is that I have magnets on the inside arm of the plexiglass and so uh, these hold on the, the webcam but also one of the magnets down here is connected to both the metal frame and the webcam so it does a really good job of making the plexiglass enclosure sturdy as well as the webcam.